Hi everyone, it's Sarah Berry here. I'm going to show you how to make this cute treat pouch, which will stand up um, using the Spirited Snowmen stamp set featured in the Autumn Winter Stampin' Up! catalog. Now, this won't be around for very much longer. We have um, until the 2nd of January 2019. So if you want to get your hands on this, please um, follow all the links in the description on my YouTube channel. Um, I have them here, I have them already mounted. Um, inside the treat, I've just popped a bag of Milky Way, uh, Milky Bar buttons like that. You can also get these treat pouches from um, Cadbury's with the dairy milk um, chocolate buttons in, so they, they are pretty much the same size packet. Now, my box is slightly generous, but um, not overly, um, not really rec overly so, um, because sometimes when you get them, um, the, the chocolates all bunch up down at the bottom. So if you spread them out, you can get that um, treat in there, plus maybe another packet. Um, you could put some of the chocolate, uh, milk chocolate buttons in, or like a Freddo or a candy cane sticking out. Um, so, but if you don't, you just put one thing in, um, you know, it doesn't seem like it's, it's a little bit empty. So I'm going to show you how to make this and you'll want to find out your, um, Bermuda Bay cardstock and to start with, it needs to measure seven and three quarter inches by five and a quarter inches. So that's just the size we start with and then you'll bring out the scoreboard. This is the Stampin' Up! Simply Scoreboard. And we want to place it on with the seven and three quarter inches um, piece at the top. Score at three quarters of an inch. That one is the trickiest one because we're doing it up in the corner. Three and a half. Four and a quarter and then seven. So what we've created here is the sides, the back and the front. Then we're going to turn and score at three quarters and three. And that's it. Now, like on my example here, you want to make sure we're cutting out some of these pieces and they can go in the bin. So we want to remove this top left section, sorry, top left section, top right section, and the middle section. This corner cut up here, the three lines, and that's, um, that's it. So let's do that together. So cut up these three little tabs up to the first score line. Get rid of this square. Make it nice and neat. There we go. Get rid of this flap. The opposite one. And then straight down the middle to that score line. This is the trickiest piece. You'll just want to wiggle your scissors in and cut that straight off at the bottom there. So there we go. That's all the pieces removed. Now we want to use the scallop tag topper punch and um, feed normally this gap this gap is two inches my paper is actually wider than two inches so all you do to get that nice scalloped edge on the the detail on the top there is feed it in like this can you see it just sort of misses out that section pop it in all right, and then if you turn it over, you can actually see where you are with it. Um, what I do need to tell you is you need to mark the center line 
um, with a, a pen and you can just do it um, ever so slightly and it, will, it, it won't show when you punch it out. So I'm just going to bring in my trimmer. Oops, sorry. <laughs> bring in my trimmer. And the score line needs to be uh, one and three eighths. One and one, two, three. Just there. It's probably easy if you have a ruler. Um, not on the trimmer. So one and one, two, three eighths. So that's just the middle point of those top pieces. And we'll pop it back into the punch. And now you'll see that you've got your little mark and you want to line it up with the middle here. It's important that you do that step because um, otherwise your, um, your little pouch won't meet so they won't join in the middle there. They'll be offset. So we do need to make that little mark. Line it up roughly in the middle. Okay. Now we'll take the scissors and you'll want to trim these pieces off. like my points to be nice and neat okay so all of that can go so that's the basic um template the box and we want to fold it fold it along those score lines bring one over and then we'll pop some tape this is tear and tape I like to use the tear and tape, it's really quick and easy. Just along that line there. I don't worry that it's, um, it overlaps from the edge, I just fold that glue back on itself. now where you want to fold your bottom flaps in. If I bring my diagram, my template back in, you can see we chopped off this corner and we kept these two. If we didn't chop that corner off, we would be left with two flaps here and then one flap on this side. So that's why we chopped that bit off. Fold those two in. Fold uh, just make sure this is my back because that's where my joining line is. Fold up from the back and then we'll glue this down with the tear and tape. So you can see it's coming together. And now it's just really the time for decoration. There's our box all ready for our chocolates. The um, the ribbon I've chosen is the pool party uh, shimmer ribbon. Really nice satin ribbon. It's got a little bit of a glimmer glitter to it, and it's quite thick, which is nice. So the bows are going to stay where we place them. Really, there we go. One bow. Now for the fun bit, which is the decoration from the snowman that looks like he's sort of jumping in midair. I really like him. So I've got pool party cardstock that matches that ribbon. And I'm using this scallop, um, one of the scallops from the Ovals collection. And then we want a piece of white, which is what we're going to stamp our snowman onto. 
that's I'm using thick whisper white because I'm coloring in with my blends I find that the thick whisper white just takes to the blends better than the thinner whisper white that we carry and then we want some silver foil and I'm just going to put and um, this is the next oval size up and I'm just going to cut round roughly so I don't waste some of this lovely foil like that all right so I'll just run these three pieces through the big shot Okay, here they are, all cut out. You can see by chopping round your pieces, you're not wasting your cardstock, and also you can do um, put them all through at the same time. There we go, there's our three layers. Now, let's stamp the uh, snowman. So, I use the Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And we can just get this snowman in this oval. And for colour, I'm using these blends. And we have, um, what's this one? Crumb Cake Light, Dark Petal Pink, Light Bermuda Bay, uh, Dark Lovely Lipstick. And then to finish, we've got dark pumpkin pie. Now, the, whether it's the light or the dark shade, this doesn't matter. I'm not really doing any shading on this um, this image. It's simply, I'm using the blends to colour them in. And I want that really nice, strong, vibrant colour from the blends. So if I was going to do some shading, I would take um, both the light and the dark from each of these colours. So I'll just zoom in and we can get colour in. Okay, so to start off with, we'll do the boots in the lovely lipstick. And whether you use the bullet tip or the um, other brush tip, it's completely up to you. It's personal personal preference, really. Um, the bullet tip is a firmer tip, and you can press a little bit harder with that. Um, the brush tip is a little bit more delicate, um, and you'll just want a lighter touch with that. Uh, but it is good because it really has a nice fine point so you can get in to these um, circles so like smaller sections and along his scarf so whichever end you use it doesn't matter there we go we've just missed his boot there got a little heel on that boot too so that's it for the lovely lipstick. Just make sure you snap those lids on. They are tight, but they're tight for a reason. We don't want a loose lid and we don't want that alcohol in the pens to evaporate, otherwise we won't have a pen to use. So make sure you hear that nice snap. Next we'll colour the um, rest of the hat and the scarf. I like that this is Bermuda Bay, which will coordinate with the outside of this box. Just brilliant. Next, we'll colour the arms and the legs with the crumb cake. You could go a shade darker brown with the, the sticks, the stick arms and stick legs. I think it would be perfectly fine to have the soft suede brown and then add a little bit of colour to the buttons you could use the black I did use the black on this sample actually 
Um, and then add some of this pumpkin pie for his carrot nose. And then to finish him off, we just want to give him a little bit of, um, just make him a little bit more 3D. So I'm using the brush tip because this helps me get a nice sweeping shape. And I'm going to just add a little bit under the side of his face and under his chin and do the same action underneath the middle of his body and then at the bottom there. And you'll find that I've done it on the sample as well. It just makes him pop a little bit, just makes him stand out a little bit more. As that dries, it won't look so um, so different. Um, but yeah, I'm really chuffed with that. So there he is, all coloured in. Now we want to glue that directly to our silver foil piece. When you turn your cardstock over, if you see the colour coming through the cardstock, that's perfectly fine. That just shows that you've used a little bit more blend in places. And also, if you are blending, you'll want to see those, um, those colours blending and you'll want to see it coming through the back of the cardstock. So there he is on the foil. I'll add him onto the um, scallop oval with foam pads. If I can find any. <laughs> Where are they? Like that. Oops, try and get him in the middle. And then again, put some foam pads on this oval. Now, because my box um, tapers in at the top with the closure, I've not actually put any um, dimensionals at the top there. I've just kept them to the lower half of the scallop. There we go. Now to finish off, I've just got a little piece of thick whisper white and the sentiment winter cheer is quite nice from the stamp set so I'll just add this on to finish. Now I'm using the the bottom edge of the cardstock as a guide. Place my stamp pretty much to the bottom of that line like that and take the scissors and I'm just going to create a bit of a funky directional cut there and do the same again and then I want to make sure I'm cutting up next to this winter there we go nice little um, piece there for the sentiment that's going to go at the bottom and to finish off I think he needs a little bit of embellishment now, I'm running out of these sequins these are the um, adhesive backed sequins and these are just the white ones and I thought they would be quite cool as little snowballs at the bottom here probably only need two or three so there we go I really hope you've enjoyed watching and learning how to make this little treat pouch I mean these don't have to just be for Christmas you can use um, the same the template um, for all times of the year um, but it just gives you a nice indication of um, what you can make with your supplies and it's a great idea for gift giving as well so I hope you've enjoyed it thank you so much for watching if you need any advice and any help with any of the Stampin' Up! products I've demonstrated to you today you can purchase all of them in my online shop just go to stampwithsarah.co.uk and follow the links. Bear in mind that the snowman is only available to the 2nd of January or while supplies last. Um, that's 2019. So don't hang about if you want him. Thanks so much. I will see you again in the next video. Bye bye.